It's not very often these days that I get to report some good news, but at last the Unite the Union General Secretary election appears to be over. And seemingly from out of nowhere, Sharon Graham has won it. She's exploded what a lot of people felt, that she had no chance, that she should have stepped down when Howard Beckett did, that only one left candidate should run, else we risk letting the right winger, laughably referred to by the lamestream media as a centrist, centrist to them, he won't rock the boat, win. No, I'm guilty of surmising the same, I'll admit it. I was from the start an advocate of Howard Beckett, was devastated when he stood down, but understood why. That under the appallingly bad first-past-the-post system, the Unite election was taking place under, the risk of Gerard Coyne winning with the left vote apparently split was a clear and present danger. I'm a community member. I'd be slung out under a Coyne leadership along with thousands of other members. This was, after all, why Howard stepped down. I understood why he got behind Steve Turner, who had the most nominations, and that left many wondering why Sharon wouldn't step aside. But clearly Sharon knew more than we did. Of course, anyone wanting to stand should be able to. That's good for democracy. But under such an unsuitable, archaic system, the right is favoured in such circumstances, and this really needs to be addressed. However, as things have turned out, that has not been the case. The two left candidates have come first and second. So despite a split, the right winger still came last. Rupert Murdoch's candidate, Keir Starmer's favourite candidate, came last. The Labour to Win candidate came last. And the right is kept out of any controlling role in our union. Sharon Graham ran a clever campaign. She got her data together and she's reaped the rewards. As for Steve Turner's campaign, behaving like the heirs apparent to the Crown and McCluskey is blown up in their faces. Even with the support lent by some of Beckett's supporters, it wasn't enough. Many would not be persuaded to back another candidate after their favourite bowed out, the guy who stood for what they stood for. But without them, Steve Turner, the guy who got the most nominations, would certainly have come last, only just pushing Gerard Coyne into third place as he has. The whole Steve got the most nominations, so the left must rally around him myth has been busted. The nominations process has always been a poor indicator, and those defending this argument were just plain dishonest. They knew better. Just playing to their favourites. And for many big-name mouthpieces, as my socialist telly colleague Steve Walker of Squawk Box has laid out in recent articles, some supposedly lefty commentators have been left with reputations well shredded over this. The left is strong. A surprise has been sprung. I wish Sharon Graham very much well and look forward to seeing what she's got in store for us.